Welcome to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint from Zero to Hero, Module 8.2, Troubleshooting PowerShell Output Issue. Initially, I want to show how you can uninstall and install back the Defender feature. And then, interesting enough, I need to talk about an issue you can get doing that over the Get MP Computer Status and Get MP Preference. By the way, those two commands are very important when checking the configuration and troubleshooting MD. And then finally, how you can fix that problem. Anyway, let's dive into it. If eventually you need to remove Defender from any server 2016 or 2019, the way to do that is here uninstall-windows feature, windows-defender. That's a way to uninstall the service. On server 2016 only, you still need to remove the Defender GUI interface. And then you use exactly the same command with the GUI. On server 2019, you don't need to do that because the GUI is built in into the security center. When the time is right and you need to, to install back the Defender feature, on server 2016 and 2019, the command is pretty much exactly the same, but instead to use uninstall, you need to use install and then eventually Windows Defender. And then only on server 2016, the same command using the GUI at the end. If you're not too familiar or if you don't like too much to do those tasks via PowerShell, of course, you can use the GUI. Just go into the server manager, add feature and select Windows Defender feature and then select Windows Defender and the GUI as well. OK, click two or three next, restart the server and then job done. That's the way to install and uninstall. To be honest, you know, this is really not complicated at all. But interesting enough, the problem I've been getting, especially on server 2016, is the following. After doing the uninstall and then installing the Defender feature back, for my surprise, that broke the output command coming from get MP computer status and from get MP preferences. And those two commands are very important on my day to day because I use them to check the configuration I'm deploying, to check the, the security status and so on. And then eventually they broke. In one of the servers, I need to say after one or two days, two days if I have a good memory, eventually this problem was fixed by itself, you know, somehow it eventually started working again. But on another few servers, it didn't work. I wait one or two servers, tried a couple of things, you know, it never fixed itself. And then it was the time when I had to do a bit of a deep dive to understand how those commands work. And then I understood they, uh, they perform some WMI queries in order to, you know, to extract the information. And by the time when we uninstall the feature and install the feature back, those files that hold the configuration, they can be corrupted. And then you need to kind of rebuild or you need to repair those files. And this is the procedure I'm about to show now. I have here now a server 2016. Now let me follow those steps in order to fix that output problem. The very first thing you really should do is to make sure there is no problem in regards to the service. You need to make sure the Defender service is running. To do that, you can just type a get a service and then is win defend. Okay, and then this is just to kind of, you know, to make sure and to double check the Defender service is running. That would be the really step number one. Okay, if the Defender service is running, but you are still not getting any output from those two or more PowerShell commands, now the next step is actually to fix that kind of, you know, database. First of all, I need to go into the, the right folder and then it's program data, program data, and then Microsoft, and then finally Windows Defender. Okay, and here you need to go into the platform. Oh yeah, they're right. And then into the platform, just, you know, type the command uh, uh, dir to double check what are the platform updates you have at the moment. You might see a couple of uh, folders and then make sure you always go to the latest one. Okay. Anyway, in my case, it's simple enough. I have a single folder. Now let me dive into it, CD, and then for something. Okay, that's fine. And then eventually, if I try here, the command here, 
as you can see, the, 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 the two interesting files I need to look for now is the protection management uh, underscore uninstall and then the protection manager dot mof and the you know the, the file above here the mof as well as you can see you know the files are exactly here and then the commands to finally to fix that problem as you can see is mof uh, comp and then dash in here dot dash protection and then first i don't want the dll okay i want the management underscore uninstall.mof. Okay, this is the first command. Just uh, hit enter. Yeah, the command kind of, you know, do a, a verification on that file. When you see the message done, okay, as the name suggests, okay, that's done. Now let me go to the next one. Again, mof uh, comp and then same story. I need to find the protection, not the DLL, the mof. And then hit enter. Yeah, usually the process you know takes only a few a few seconds. As you can see, the file has been successful, completed, and yeah, is done. And that really should fix the problem you might uh, have in regards to the those those uh, two PowerShell commands. Now, actually, let me just check before I finish this video. If I try again, uh, get uh, and then MP computer status. If I hit enter, yeah, as you can see, everything looks good, the information came. And if I try the next one, get MP, MP preference. Uh, in, oops, sorry. Get MP preference. Yeah, hit enter. Yeah, all the output is here and eventually the problem has been fixed, okay? I would say, of course, you don't need to tie, uh, you don't need to go over this procedure for servers that are already working and you would do that only on servers. You are not getting any output at all from the get MP preference and get computer status. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share on my troubleshooting PowerShell output issue module. If you enjoyed this video, please give a quick like, subscribe my channel and follow me on LinkedIn. See you on next module. Thanks for watching.